Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is combined from two topics. It is of matrices as well as we'll use combinations here. The question says, how many matrices I can have A, which is a three by three matrix, such that if I take the product of A and its transpose, it turns out three when I take sum of the diagonal elements of that product A and A transpose, right? And we have to select the elements of matrix A only from the set which consists of three elements minus one, zero, one. So these are the only three options which we have to select all the matrices of A. So let's understand the solution. First of all, what I will do is to understand this given data of A and its transpose what we'll do is we'll take a random matrix A three by three, such that its elements are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So this is a three by three matrix. If I take the transpose of that, what happens? Whenever we take the transpose, the rows gets changed into columns and the columns becomes the rows, right? So if I change it, it becomes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So I have again nine elements. Again, it's a three by three. Now, if I take the product of A and A transpose, I'll again get nine elements, three by three matrix. So if I see, I only need to find some of the diagonal elements. So let's just figure out the diagonal elements. That is the first element, the middle element and the ninth element. So here, if I figure out the first element, I will have to multiply the first row with the first column to get the first element of this product. So it is A into A, A square, B into B, B square, and C into C, C square. Further, if I want to find the middle element of this three by three matrix, what I will do is I'll multiply this second row with the second column, and that gives me D into D, D square. E into E is E square and F into S, F is F square. Further, if I want the last element of this product, I have to multiply this third row with the third column and that gives me G square plus H square plus I square. So I have all the three elements with me. Now, I have been told that the product of A and its transpose becomes equal to three or the sum of the diagonal elements of this product becomes equal to three. So let's add them. So if I add the diagonal elements, it becomes A square, B square, C square, D square, E square, F square, and G square, H square, I square. It's equal to three. So if you understand whatever data we have got, you would analyze that all of these elements are the elements of the matrix A that we have taken. Right, so it is basically sum of squares of all the elements of matrix A and we have to add them and that should make it equal to three. And to select all the elements from the matrix, we have only three options, minus one, zero and one. So we need to select all of these nine elements from this three, minus one, zero and one, right? And the sum of the squares should become three. So if I first find just the square of the elements which have been given to me, minus one square, so I'm just finding the square, it is one, zero square is zero and one square is one, right? So if you understand out of nine elements, the sum of that should be three. So out of nine elements, six of them should be zero and three of them can be either one minus one or combination of that, right? So let's find out all the possible combinations where we get the sum as three. So first combination, out of nine elements, as we discussed, there should be six zero elements and the remaining three elements can be all of them one. So nine elements we have in total and if the, out of them six has to be zero. So out of nine, I'm selecting six elements that should become zero and the remaining three elements that should be one. So nine C six, if I solve it further, gives me nine factorial, six factorial, three. How do I solve this further is nine, eight, seven, and six factorial. This is six factorial into three, two, one. So this is six. 
6 factorial gets cancelled. Now here if you have a question that what about 3C3? So 3C3 is 1, right? Because NCN is always 1. So we are taking that as multiplied with 1. 6 if I can cancel 2 3s are 2 4s are 3 1s, 3 3s. So 3 into 4 is 12 and 12 into 7 I get it as 84, right? So this becomes 84 possibilities here. Now I can also have 6 zeros and 3 minus 1s because the square of them will also become 1 and adding them will also make it 3, right? So out of 9, I can have 6 zeros and the remaining 3, all of them can be minus 1. Again, this is the same possibility as the previous. So it will also give us the same outcomes. So 84 outcomes are possible with that as well. So what I did? I can have six zeros as discussed. Out of the three remaining elements, two of them can be one and the remaining one element can be minus one because if we take the square, this also becomes plus one and two ones which are present, if I add them with this plus one, it becomes three. So I still get some of the squares as three. So in that case, out of 9 elements, 6 are 0. So 9 is 6. The remaining 3 elements, out of them I am taking 2 ones. So out of 3 elements, 2 are 1. And 1 remaining element is minus 1. So 9 is 6 which we already found out, it was 84. 3 C 2 is 3. And 1 C 1 is 1. So 84 into 3, if you find it out, you will get 252, right? So it becomes 4 3s are 12, 1, 8 3 are 24, 250. Yeah, that's correct. Next. I can have 6 of them zeros again, but now 2 of them can be minus 1 and the remaining 1 can be 1, right? Because square of minus 1s, as you know, it is still going to be 1 and there are 2 minus 1s. Square of them would become 1 and 1, so 2 and plus 1 is 3. And six zeros are there, that does not make any impact. So we still get the sum as three. So out of nine, six zeros are there. Remaining three elements, two of them are minus one, and the one remaining element has one. So that is again 84 into 3 into 1, that's still 250. So the total number of combinations or the possibilities of the matrices A I can have here says. 84 plus 84 plus 252 plus 250. That gives me, this is 168. This is 250 and 250 is 500 and this is 504. So 504 plus 168, that becomes 670. So the total number of matrices A I can have such that sum of the diagonal elements of product of A and its transpose is 3, the answer we get for that is 672. So I can have 672 matrices in all. The answer which matches with the option here is A. So the correct answer is A. I hope you have understood how to solve these questions wherein there are combinations of applied as well as the properties of matrices are used. I'll meet you again tomorrow with a new question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you are finding this helpful. Thank you.